Hi you all, welcome to the channel Cloud Knowledge. Today in this video we will study about the usage of Copy Assistant in Microsoft Fabric. So here we are in the fabric inside our workspace which is known as Cloud Knowledge Data Factory and if you have already gone through the playlist created for Microsoft Fabric or have slight idea about Fabric you know that we can create the new resource from clicking over this plus new button and select data pipeline in our case because we want to make use of copy activity in the data pipeline so we'll select and upon clicking data pipeline will get this prompt to give the new pipeline name so we'll name this pipeline as pipeline copy assistant then we'll click on create we'll wait for some time so here is the pipeline copy assistant written at the left side at the top of the page okay we are now in the pipeline and it will show up in the start page to add pipeline activity copy data choose a task to start okay we can either select this copy data from the canvas or at the top you can see there are several options given where where the frequently used activities are shown at the top also so we'll just click here and we could see two options add to canvas and another option is use copy assistant so we'll click on use copy assistant which will open up this page where we have to choose the data source so this assistant copy assistant will help us in choosing the different steps of the copy data activity so the first step is choose data so select a connector and enter the connection information so it will at the top show us some sample data and if you go down it will show us the different data sources okay if your data resides in one of these containers or databases you can select this okay so let's take one of the sample data so we'll take let's say the diabetes data we'll click on next next it will go to connect to data source where it will help us preview the data which is coming from the sample diabetes data set you can see there are few columns and rows in this data set we'll see and then we'll click on next next is choose the data destination okay so in our case we can land it into lake house the same lake house we'll use which we have been using in the fabric videos so in order to select lake house we can go to the workspace it will show up lake house will select it and click on next then it will show existing lake house or you want to create new lake house so we'll select from the list of the existing lake house ck lake house and we'll click on next next it will ask us whether you want to store it as table or files then if it is table whether you want to load it into a new table or load to existing table so we want it to be table and then we want to create a new table diabetes let's name it as diabetes sync and then the column mappings are given here you can here itself add new mapping or can clear reset or delete okay this looks fine we'll click on next so it will show us the copy summary that we are taking the diabetes data from the sample data set source to destination which is lake house connection name of the lake house is ck lake house table name will be diabetes sync okay and at the bottom it will show up start data transfer immediately this option will start running the current pipeline immediately after it is saved successfully so we'll let it be checked we'll click on save plus run saving the changes the notification is coming start running successfully running the pipeline and here in the output we could see in some time that the copy data activity is running so we'll click on refresh and we could see that the activity name copy is in progress let's wait for its completion
it succeeded okay duration is 23 seconds we'll go to the lake house so let's duplicate this tab and we'll go to the workspace in the workspace we have selected ck lake house so we'll select the ck lake house and the table name given is diabetes sink so we'll click on refresh here in the ck lake house and we could see here the diabetes table created the name of the table is diabetes if we go back here click over the copy data activity in the destination the table name given is selected as diabetes so it is given as diabetes in the target the data from the sample data set is copied to the lake house using copy assistant okay had this been normal copy activity then let's say if we remove this and we simply select copy data activity then here itself we have to do the configuration in the general tab source tab we have to select destination etc it is same but copy assistant help us to open up a new page and assist step by step okay so this was a small demo on the usage of copy assistant thank you for watching this video do let me know in comments if you have any queries happy learning bye